Everybody ready for the beach? Yeah! But in the sun, here we come. Aw, uh, we can't go swimming when there's lightning outside. No fair, Grandpa! We've been planning this forever. This was going to be the best day. Now it's the worst. I'm sorry, kittens, but this is out of my control. I'll tell you what. Maybe we could make up a special big story. About fuzzicles? Yeah, fuzzicles who got to do just what they planned. Okay, and what should we call this story? I know. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there were some fuzzicles who loved to go to... The dentist. No, to concerts. And today they were planning to see their favorite singer. Fuzzy Fuzzbottom! <laughs> but just when they were about to leave, a tree fell right on the car. And they couldn't go to the concert after all. The end. No problem, Grandpa. They didn't even need the car. Right. They could just walk there. Oh. But when they got to the bridge, it collapsed for no reason. And so the Fuzzicles stayed home and ate soup. The end. No. Kate and I totally got this, Grandpa. We'll take them ourselves. Yeah. In a kitty copter. A kitty copter? Yeah. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties. Let's go. Nothing can stop us now. That's what they thought. Because just then, it started raining. No problem. The kitty copter can fly through rain. Uh-uh. It started raining cheese balls. Whoa! It's a cheese ball hurricane. Our pierogi blasters are overwhelmed. We'll have to land this thing and wait until it stops. Good thinking, Kate. Looks like that was the last cheese ball. Nope, there was still one more. Ready for that soup now? No, we got this. We'll just have to walk to the concert from here. Come on, Fuzzicles. We'll be there in no time. But then suddenly a giant scary monster stepped out of the forest and blocked their way. You'll never get past me. Don't worry, I got this. Ah! A monster! <laughs> Way to go, Kate! Let's hurry! We can still make it on time! See? I told you nothing could stop us. Are you ready? <laughs> then let's hear it for the fuzziest part of them all! Fuzzy! The concert was canceled. I'm sorry, you guys, but there's nothing we can do. And after the Fuzzicles put on their own concert, they went home and ate a delicious dinner. Soup? With a side order of cheese balls. <laughs> oh, my party was so much fun. How long until my next birthday? Well, a year. How long is a year? Like forever. Actually, it's 365 days. Oh, 
That's so long. How long now? It's still 365 days. Oh, I wish I could have a birthday every day. Yeah, me too. With a party every day. Fun. That's a great idea for a story called Every Day's a Birthday. <laughs> Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel decided to have a birthday every day. And I'm going to go first. And I'm tomorrow. Fantastic. We've got everything we need. Uh, what about guests? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we can be the guests. Yeah, but we need a present. How about this harmonica? Perfect. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Happy birthday, Hansel! Thank you. Who wants to play a game? <gasps> Pin the tail on the elephant? I love that game! <laughs> Watch and learn, Kate. I'm the best at this. <laughs> yeah, you're the best. Oops. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hansel. Happy birthday to you. Oh, hooray! <laughs> Wonderful. Have some cake. Thanks. Yummy. Mm. I could eat this every day. Time to open your present. Oh, yeah! I love birthdays. Great, because tomorrow is my turn for a birthday. And then mine. And then mine. And so the next day, Gretel celebrated her special day. Surprise! Oh, a party? I had no idea. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gretel. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And so the next day, and the next day, and the next day, it was party time. Again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Thirty birthdays later. Good morning, Kit. Your turn. Again? Mm, I think the elephant has enough tails now. Let me guess. Another harmonica. Ugh. Oh no, not more cake. Yeah, can I have something else? Like a salad? Sorry. All we have is cake. This doesn't feel special anymore. That's because special isn't special if it isn't special. So true. So true. Maybe tomorrow we can just have a normal day? Yeah. Porridge and then the park. Yay! Yay! Normal day! Why didn't we think of this 29 birthdays ago? I guess the birthday every day isn't such a great idea. Yeah, because then it won't be special. Don't worry. There are lots of other special days in the year, like Christmas. Yeah! When is that? In four months. That's like forever, too. How about now? Is it closer now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You start it. Once upon a time there were... Oh, I have no ideas! Mom, can you help us make up a story? Sorry, kittens. I dropped my gold earring down the drain and I have to get it out. Oh. oh. Well, I'm sure you'll find an idea. And if you get hungry, I'll leave a snack for you in the kitchen. Pickles? Pickles? Ugh. I don't know how you can keep eating those things. Good luck with your story. But we don't have any ideas. There's one right there. What? A story called Two Kittens Who Couldn't Make Up a Story. Ugh. 
Once upon a time, there were two kittens who, um, couldn't make up a story. So they just sat on the sofa. Until Kate decided it was snack time. So the kittens walked to the kitchen. Where they found a plate of pickles. And candies. A whole trail of them. The kittens followed the candy trail all the way to their toy box. Let's look in the box. In the box, the kittens found a rocket ship. And a treasure map. So they decided they would blast off into outer space. And find the buried treasure on planet Red. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. The fearless kittens zipped and zoomed around the planets until suddenly. There it is, Kate. Planet Red! Land the rocket! I don't know how. We'll have to parachute down. Great idea, Kit! Uh, Kate, our rocket's flying away. Now we have no way to get home. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. Look, Kate, here's the path. I told you it was a great idea. That's the end of the line. What do we do now? Uh, dig? Where? I'm thinking here. That's probably a good idea. <coughs> a golden pickle! Hey, what's going on? Whoa! You stole our golden pickle. We didn't steal it. We were just following this map we found. Ha! I should have known that pickle-hating, gold-loving space pirate stole our pickle. Who? Yellow shirt. That isn't just some golden treasure. That pickle energizes our galaxy's pickle farm on planet green. If we don't get it back there, all of our pickle trees will die. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go save those pickles. Hurry, before it's too late. Thank you, kittens. The galaxy is safe once again for pickle lovers everywhere. How can I repay you? Could you return us to our home? Gladly. And have a pickle. They're the best in the universe. Thanks. And so the aliens sat the kittens back home right where they started. The end. Mm, these really are the best pickles in the whole universe. Hey, you found your earring. Yeah, and I see you found the pickles. Not just pickles, we found Yellow Shirt's treasure map. And it led us into outer space. Huh, for two kittens with no ideas, it sounds like you two found quite an adventure. Yeah, it was amazing. Thanks, Thanks Yellow, Yellow Shirt. Shirt. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a bat. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, so that means you can fly? Yeah. Cool, then jump off of there and start flying. I don't feel like flying right now. Huh. Maybe you're not a bat. Maybe you're a chicken. Am not. Are too. Bark, bark, bark. You know, Kit, bats do other cool things, like climbing. So climb on down here, and we can make up a story. Okay. About a ghoul? Yeah, who was very cool. And we can call the story The Cool Ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a really cool ghoul with sunglasses and a rockin' band. I'm so cool, I'm so cool. I'm a rockin' and a rollin', I'm a real cool ghoul. I got some rockin' glasses, I got a rockin' band. I'm the coolest ghoul rockin' across the land. You know, we'd sound even cooler with a couple of cool guitar players. Hey, that could be us. We're cool. Way cool. Wang! Go, Go kitty, kitty.
Kitty Kitties, let's go! Yo, we heard you're looking for some cool guitar players. So, what do you say? Can we join? Can we? Can we? Of course, if you pass the cool test. What's that? You just have to do whatever cool thing I dare you to. Cool. Let the daring begin. I dare you to go up to my neighbor over there and say... Okay. Yes? Boogity, 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 boo! Hey there, pal. How do you do? How do I do? Just fine, thank you. <laughs> That's good. good. Bye. There, we did it. Are we in? In? The test has just begun. If you're really cool, you'll put your paws in here. I dare you. Don't worry, Kit. Earthworms don't bite. They're harmless. Nothing personal, worms, but it's kind of gross. <laughs> there. Are we in now? Getting closer. Then just tell us what to do. We'll do anything you want. Anything? Then climb over that fence and take an apple from the farmer's tree. I dare you. Wait. This is just stealing. You're right, Kit. What? I thought you were cool. We are, but we don't want to do this. Really? Then here's one last test to prove if you're really cool. I double dare you to fill this anthill with water and then stomp on it. But that anthill, it's their home. I wouldn't want someone to destroy our home. What are you afraid of? I thought you were cool cats. But maybe you're just scaredy chickens. <laughs> We're not afraid. We just don't think it's right to hurt those ants. Yeah, that's not cool at all. Hey, where are you going? I thought you wanted to be in the cool crew. What do you mean? What do I mean? <laughs> I mean, you passed the test. <laughs> it's cool to do things that are fun or silly, but nobody that's cool would ever steal or hurt anyone. Welcome to the cool crew. We're so cool, we're so cool We're a rockin' and a rollin' with some new cool rules We got some rockin' glasses, we got a rockin' band We're the cook 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 cool with rules rockin' across the land Great story, Dad! Kittens! Back here, Mom! Mom's coming! Act like a monkey bat and do a silly dance for her! We dare you! Are you all right? Cool! <laughs> Kittens, I told you to clean your room an hour ago. Yeah, but we're still playing. <sighs> Ow! I, I want everything put away now! He's really mad. It's your fault. Mine? It's your mess. But it was your toy. <sighs> hey! What's going on? Nothing! Nothing. Hold on, kittens. Where's the Christmas cheer? It's all gone. Huh. Well, I've got a Christmas story that might turn that mood around. I doubt it. Me too. Anyhow, what's it called? The Grumpy Elves. Ugh. One Christmas Eve, Alfred was showing Santa his latest creation. <laughs> What a cute doggy! Oh, that's not all! The children will love that! Gather the toy builders! Hey, you could be two of Santa's elves. Maybe it'll help you turn that grumpy mood around. I doubt it. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Okay, elves, it's toy time! Kid and Kate, you collect the parts. Elvira, you assemble, and I'll paint. Yeah! Remember, happy elves make happy toys! Whatever. There. Thanks! One hover dog coming right up. Hmm. 
Something doesn't seem quite right here. Maybe Kid and Kate gave you a few wrong parts by mistake. Maybe Elvira's just stinky at putting things together. <gasps> stinky? You call this stinky? Just watch. <clears throat> See? I told ya! Ow! Look what you made me do! It's okay, Elvira. Accidents happen. Hey! You splattered us with paint! Newsflash, kittens! I banged my thumb with a hammer! How am I supposed to paint the toy now without any paint? Use your beard! How about I use you? Oh, here comes Santa! Achoo! Alfred, what's going on here? Well, you see, uh... How did this happen? She ruined my beard! They gave me the wrong pieces! Well, we, um... We were in a bad mood. Oh, we can't have that. If you're not careful, a bad mood can spread like... Like a bad cold. But I know just the trick to turn a stinky mood around. When I'm feeling grumpy or when I'm feeling blue, I have a silly game I play and you can play it too. You do a silly dance and make a silly sound. And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. When I'm feeling grumpy or when I'm feeling Silly dance. Go on, try it. And make a silly sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. And the elves' stinky mood really did turn around. They worked happily together, making toys for all the good boys and girls until Santa's sleigh was packed up and ready to fly. Ho, ho, ho! Merry! Achoo! And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. Thanks for turning our stinky mood around, Mom. Hey, Kit, what happens if I press this button on you? I change into a room cleaning robot. Me too. Me three. Now that's how you spread the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs>